Hey, miss. Hi. My name's Jordan. Isn't that nice? And introduction on your part would be nice, too. I don't think so. My bus is almost here. Okay, well, since we're only going to be interacting for a little bit, what's the harm of giving me your name? I'd rather not. Celebrity in disguise or something? No. You're part of the Witness Protection Program. No, wait! You are public enemy number one, and you have your victim's kidneys right there in your bag. Marianne. What was that? My name is Marianne. Okay, see, that wasn't too bad, right? So, uh, where are you headed? Home, where there's peace and quiet. Yeah, I get you. I had a boss once. Yeah, Mr. Pacheco. That's a jackass. And every time I'm about to finish my shift and clock out, he has me stack up 15 more carts of milk just to spite me. Bosses, huh? Whoa, easy there, touchy. Okay. Wait, it's cool. It's cool. All right, here. Uh, put my hands in my pocket the entire time. All right. Is that better? Okay. I didn't mean to offend you or nothing. Or anything. Okay. You didn't mean to offend me or anything. You said nothing. Technically, you said nothing, which isn't really a word. Well, you used two negatives making the positive, meaning you didn't want to offend me. Whoa. Okay, uh, are you like an English teacher or something? Because I really do well in English. Surprising. Well, I'm just more in other things. Like people. I can read people for you. Yeah. Like, uh, when I first sat here, I could tell you wanted me to go away. But not because you want to track me. Because you just don't like people in general. And you've never been really close to them. Right? And even if you were attracted to them, you wouldn't even find a jail. You can stop me anytime if I'm right. Or you just came out of a relationship. Perfect guy. And you all share the same interests, spend every day together. He treated you like a princess. And all of a sudden, he stomps your heart like a jackass he was hiding the entire time. That's why you won't give any guy a chance. Because you blame the entire sex on something one guy did to you. Look, I don't know how many chick flicks you've been watching to muster up that little speech, but not all women are broken little birds that you need to fix. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to try to fix you or anything. I, I just want to get to know you. Yeah, get to know me with your penis. What? <laughs> with my penis? Wait, are you a lesbian or something? Because, uh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm not a lesbian, I'm just not interested. Okay. Well, uh, I know you're lying. I saw the way you looked at me when I was walking by. Come on, admit it. You think I'm cute? What's his name? Oh. The guy that hurt you. I'm not sure. I knew it. It was a guy. I'm telling you, I'm pretty good at this one. So, uh... Why wouldn't you tell me his name? I promise, I'll, uh, I'll beat him up for you. I don't know it. You know what? You don't know his name? Oh, jeez, what? Is he some guy that hasn't asked you out or something? Oh, wow, I, and you call me the chick flick guy. I'm pretty sure this is based off a chick flick. No, no, I'm pretty sure it is. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the movie with Angelina Jolie and, uh, and, and the thick eyebrow guys, right? No, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. It's not a... Okay, then, uh, how can someone hurt you and you don't even know that person's name? I mean, that makes no sense. Listen, I'm sorry. Is there 